Bob Wall, Big Wall Dogs getting his piece. Hope y'all can hear me. I'm shooting this a little different than I usually would. About to uh, maybe shave up a little bit of my brother's Griswold. I don't know if you can see how beat it is, man. I'm gonna throw in some little uh, like tidbits. About to use this. This piece of equipment, man, is, uh, is definitely a game changer on these flannels, dude. Here it is. <coughs> well, dang it. So, yeah, probably uh, from right about here out, this is going to be all extra fast forwardy. And uh, you probably won't get a lot. Maybe I'll do some vice overs or something. Yeah, this stuff right here, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this is my first time ever doing a voiceover in this fashion. <clears throat> oh. hmm. It's hard to do the sippy sippy out of a can, because I am sipping a little can of something, something. You can't see me. I can't see y'all. I don't really know what's popping, man. <clears throat> not, uh, this is not my thing, but it is going to go quick. It'll be quick and painless, you know, just the first time we're virginal. But I'll tell you what, man, my brother's dead. My brother's, uh, Griswold was filth with the little pilling all over it, man. It had a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of filth. And <clears throat> the butyrol or butyrol or, I sure wish somebody from the company would tell me how to say that damn name. The fabric shaver, it pretty much murdered the game, man. It, uh, <clears throat> it changed the game, like I said. Um, it did, it did a phenomenal job at cleaning his shit up real quick. I mean, granted, now you got to take in, uh, uh, see these pieces right here, man. This, uh, nine minute video, I think total with a less than 30 seconds of talking. You got to think, I think I have this at 12 times speed or 10 times speed. So with that being said, you know, that's 10 times speed. That's 80 minutes or somewhere in the 80 to 120 minutes. I mean, this is an hour and a half, two hours of, uh, Zapping on a flannel that, and now mind you, this flannel wasn't so tore up that you couldn't do it, but it was it was it was nice and tore up, you know. <laughs> but uh, if you if you if I was going slow, man, I, I know nobody was gonna watch me shave a flannel for an hour and a half, but I thought y'all might watch me shave a flannel for like eight nine minutes and talk a little bit of shit, especially uh, I'm doing it in a fashion, man. That dog hair on my arm of my sweatshirt right there in this video is killing me. <clears throat> I wish I could shave that shit off. <clears throat> Damn, how come I'm going to get a cough as <clears throat> soon as I plug in? As soon as I start fucking with y'all, I get a cough. Seem about right, don't it? Damn. Look at me, though. I look cool over there. Dang, he cool. No, nah, not. Nah, uh, but, yeah, man, I. Uh, it's funny because with like this, it only filled up two times off this whole Griswold. And, uh, shoot, when I started shaving my... Uh, dark horse it filled up once off half a sleeve my murked out it filled out like twice off a sleeve <clears throat> and i couldn't even tell you how many times that bitch filled up off my old school boulevard um but i am gonna throw together something quick for my old school boulevard boulevard man because i did already have part of the back like i had the whole back done pretty much and then i did part of a sleeve to show somebody how much of a difference it makes and then i did part of the front bottom on the left to show somebody how much of a difference it makes <clears throat> and then i recorded myself finishing it so y'all will get a dope video of of the boulevard getting finished up but don't think that that 20 minute video was all it took to shave up the boulevard. And once I put that boulevard at about 10 times speed, I could make that a two minute video if I really wanted to. I could throw it right at the end of this piece. You see that little baggie of fuzz right there? That's the first one that had a little bit of murked out sleeve in there. And some of the, like basically all of that Griswold except for <coughs> what's left at this point. <clears throat> and we're more than half done in this video. I mean, I've already done the entire front, the interior interior collar. I've done most of the side seams. I mean, I will touch everything back up. But, I mean, the way it brought his flannel to life, I don't know if you saw that pilling at the beginning. If you roll back, like, after you watch it, I mean, <clears throat> like I said, I understand this is not the most exciting footage. But if you keep Dixons, if you keep flannels, if you keep hoodies, you understand how much of a nuisance and how annoying it is to have a dope-ass shirt covered in little BB balls of fabric 
and she just kind of makes it look whack, man, and <clears throat> totally ruins the image of what you're going for when you're trying to be fly, trying to be dope, man, and all of a sudden your shit just looks whack because it's got little BBs all over it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's uh, right here. It looks like I'm going real fast, and I am going quickly. Because I don't like to stay in any one spot for very long. Because I don't want to just zap a hole right through the flannel. But I am not going so fast that, like, like right there when I'm getting up on them seams and shit, man. I don't want to catch no. I don't want to catch a string. I don't want to do anything that's gonna cause any runs. <clears throat> I mean, because you catch a string and yank that bad mama jamma, it's gonna run all the way down the sleeve, run all the way down the front. And there are a couple runs on the front of that uh, Griswold, man. And if you look at the original pictures, they're in there. I think it is about to cut back in with my voice here pretty quick. I'm kind of trying to watch for where that spot is. Or maybe it already did it or something. I don't know. I gotta, I'm got i kind of trying to keep my eye out because I don't want to talk over myself. <clears throat> but maybe I'm tripping, man. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't ever do that. Maybe it, uh, because I'm recording voiceover, it's just letting me have my voice the whole time. Maybe none of that shit original. None of that original shit is in there. I really don't know. I know my head itches. Oh, the itchy and scratchy show. <clears throat> Damn, I got a cough for y'all all the time, man. <clears throat> my mother, y'all give me emphysema or asthma. No, not really. Uh, I am up. I think I got two new subscribers. I mean, which is kind of weak. That's the slowest we've gone. But I haven't really opened much except Travis Tritt. And, I mean, come on, who was really Googling Travis Tritt? And, we, uh, I mean, Dixon, I don't know what Danny's, uh, I mean, I get it. It is what it is. It's in the works. It's in the works. Um, <clears throat> but I don't understand why he's dropping a, a, a flannel for a two-year-old country record or year-and-a-half-old country record or whatever it is, man, because, I mean, cool, you like Travis Tritt. I tried to listen to it. I talked all that shit about it when I ordered it. Like, fucking, I ain't, like, fuck Travis Tritt. So I was like, man, fuck it, I guess uh, maybe, maybe it's dope, man. Maybe it'll sound like Willie. Maybe it'll sound like Waylon. Maybe it'll sound like, you know, maybe it'll sound like something. Some, uh, uh, it, it doesn't, bro. It, it, uh, boys and girls, it is not good. There's one song that, man, I think it might even be the title track or one right there. It's in the first few tracks on the album that does have a tolerate, tolerate like the lyricism. I mean, I could take that and put it in a rock song. I mean, I couldn't, but somebody that can rock, somebody that can sing, somebody that has, like, you know, musical talent in the endeavor. Man, look how clean that Griswold's coming. <clears throat> but somebody that did all that could sing that Travis Tritt song, and it would be all right. You know, with a little rock guitar or a drum machine, something. Something other than country song. It, it, that country shit is garbage. You got to be you gotta be David Allen Coe or Big Riggs Band or keep the country at the crib. And... Here in a minute, man. We're already eight minutes and twelve seconds in. I didn't even tell you all I was trying to record this in 4K, and the camera totally took a shit, dude. I finished. I didn't even know it wasn't recording me no more. So right here, boom. Camera was full. Couldn't record the final touches, but this is the final product that I got. It's not perfect, but I for real gave him an hour. I know guys that put eight, ten, twelve hours into flannels. I am not doing that for someone else for free. I mean, I love my little brother. That's why I gave him an hour or two. But uh. Yeah, that's that, man. So, we under 10 minutes. Big Waldowski, out of here, po. Peace.